Hey guys, um, once again, showing you the food trailers now, Matt here, of course. Um, now, I wanna show you the Maxi. The biggest problem I've got with the Maxi is um, we've defined the food trailer so much, and this is for people that are serious about their food trailer business. It's literally a money-making machine. So this one's not even complete yet, but I wanted to do a video because a few people have been asking me. They've seen all the pictures, but they wanted the video for me to go right through it, okay? So first of all, I'll start on the outside. As you can see, nice finish. Um, it's got all your clearance lights and so on. The whole trail is uh, 2.1 meters wide, okay? Um, like I said, it's not finished. It's got your gas, gas holders here. Um, and you can also, these can be moved and we can put a generator there. Um, we do have um, ready to plug in power. The plug just hasn't been um, put on yet. Now, over and above that, you've got your handbrake and proper hydraulic braking system. Um, this trailer can be towed by uh, anything, sort of a, a, a mid to large car up to four wheel drives. Because you've got to remember it has, does have a bit of weight for it but it's got a lot of um, uh, working room. The platform on the front, you can also put a generator as well if you want. So it's a very, very good trailer. As usual with all my trailers, when you're looking at a food trailer, okay, most one of the most painful things you'll ever do is um, actually setting the, the, the food trailer up on site. Now, do not even consider ever buying a food trailer of any size or any nature, unless it has these expensive drop downs, okay? The reason why I go to the expense of these drop downs because if you've ever jacked up a car and tried to change the tire, imagine doing that four times every time uh, every time you did it. Sorry, a guy tried to come into my factory. Um, imagine doing that four times every time you did it. You need those drop downs, okay? So we put those on all our food trailers. Now, uh, if you come over here towards the, the, the back of the, of the trailer, you'll see that everything we do, we, have to, we do it very carefully. First of all, uh, LED lights. You'll find a lot of trailers um, on the market, they use cheap Chinese lights, okay? They have the bulbs in them and they don't last very long. They basically fall apart. You'll also notice that there's an actual number plate light. And now if you didn't know this, what would actually happen is you'd buy a trailer and then realize later on it didn't have a number plate light and you'd have to go and employ an auto electrician um, to actually um, put the number plate on. Now we, all our trailers, they all have proper good lighting. Everything's high quality, be very careful to make sure that once you leave, you're 100% happy, you're gonna refer people to us, okay? We're not cheap and nasty trying to sell the cheapest thing. What we're trying to do is make sure you get value for money, you don't have problems going forward. Even stuff like on this particular model, a door handle, uh, once you open the door, it's a, it's a locked door. Um, once you open the door, it's also got a latch here, so that door handle doesn't hit the side. We think of everything, it comes around, put the latch out, you probably can't see this, which is fine, all right? put the latch out and the door holds it right there. You see the clearance lights, some venting for the range hood. This is obviously the side that you don't actually use. Now, um, we'll go inside. Forgive me, because it's still not complete, so it's like not perfectly clean, but I'm sure you can see past that, okay? First of all, first thing is, I wanna show you how super easy these actual uh, uh, serving windows are open. Look at this, right? So basically, one finger, wham. Opens perfectly, doesn't try and rip the roof off. There's all carefully weighted hydraulic rams, okay? Then second one, same deal. When you put when you're pulling them in, done. It doesn't it's these if you don't know about these gas rams, you have to um, put the right amount of pressure um, in each one. So I'm going to open this one here as well. Then I'll take you through. So we've got a bit of light in here. I'll take you through the interior of the trailer. These are all designed. They can't leak. They've got seals on them. Everything we do our darndest. Basically, at Food Trailer King, the, the reason why I called it Food Trailer King is because we want to be the king of food trailers, right? The reason why we want to be, and the only way we know we'll get the food, king of food trailers is offering value, not just some random cheap price, okay? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. We have to spend the time, we go through everything carefully, check every nut and bolt, we make sure everything's 100% right, okay? There's stuff out there in the market that is anything but right, and um, sometimes you find out from inexperience that you don't find it the right way, but if you're looking at something like this, you're a serious player, okay? Okay, so if we're going through the equipment, first of all, every single trailer needs um, three sinks to be able to comply, okay? So you've got two independent hot and cold water systems here, okay? Underneath the bench, you'll see the system, and, and it's got its own pump and so on and so forth, um, which, which runs off um, the power system, okay? We've also got a floor waste here, so any stuff on the floor, obviously you can go straight out the door, but it also got a floor waste there, okay? Storage under here, that's a wheel well and so on and so forth, okay? We put these doors on there, so when you're driving, you just pack everything in there where you go. 
The rain should up up the top here. Now I've got cable ties because this this will be um, packed up and transported to a customer. Normally you don't have these cable ties on. These are easy to clean um, actual um, uh, rain hood filters. So nice, easy to operate. So as far as equipment goes on this actual trailer, I might as well talk about now. First, you've got your double um, gas burner. You can see this, this is a decent sized gas burner. Um, then you've also got your, um, your double deep fryer. So you've got your deep fryer here so you can have double go on the deep fryer. Now the food warmer is missing out of this one. You'll see the food warmer in the photos. The food warmer will actually sit over here, okay? Or you can sit it here as well. It's up to you where you sit it. Now, down here, uh, you've got your uh, griddle so you can cook up whatever you like there as well. Now, we put this kebab machine in. Now this kebab machine can be swapped out. You can have another one of these or you can have another one of these. It's totally up to you. So we can just take this out and um, swap it out for you. The reason why we put this window at the back is for good ventilation. So obviously when you're cooking, even though you've got the range hood taking fumes out, you want good ventilation. Plus when it opens like that, it can't leak and um, it's pretty good. Now, over on this side, Obviously, we've got the um, massive fr uh, fridge here, so you can keep all your drinks and have your pre-prep stuff sitting within there, okay? Uh, then uh, you've got your bain-marie, so it's got six um, sections to serve out of. You've got your cash drawer, more underbench storage here as well, okay? So plenty of room under there. Now, sometimes people say, hey, can I put a freezer in? Um, if you want freezers, generally what we find is just a small um, uh, freezer that is used similar to, um, or, we, or we can swap this out, it's a custom order. We swap this out for a, for a um, freezer, it's a custom order, and we can do custom stuff and put a freezer here if you want. So if you're really, really after a freezer, we have to sort of custom order it. It won't be something that comes off our um, normal production run, so you want to sort of get in early than doing that, okay? So you see it's all pretty decked out. Now, power points are in underneath, so Mostly you don't really need anything else, but if you do, what generally happens is to keep everything neat, tidy, and cables out of the way and make everything comply properly, right? We put the powers underneath. Um, with all Food Trailer King uh, food trailers, uh, your trailer is actually uh, tested and tagged, so, that, that, so the trailer is actually um, already complying with Australian standards, so you can basically plug in and start making cash. It's pretty much uh, as, as simple as that. Very, very simple, very, very straightforward. So. Um, really, uh, if you do have questions, all it is is do it is matter of um, sending us an email, support at foodtrailerking.com.au, talking to myself or uh, one of my guys. Um, you're welcome to have a look at our factory, uh, which is uh, about 15 minutes south of the uh, Gold Coast Airport, maybe 20 minutes in South Moolumba. Now everything's set up, everything's on display, you can walk around, you can get a feel for it and so on and so forth. I believe that um, um, it's a one of a kind experience to come look at our, um, our food trailers. I invest a lot of money so you can be making sure that you're making the right decision up front with your food trailer. And I, I, I pre-warn you, um, and because we hear this all the time, stories of people that invest in food trailers um, that were cheap and nasty, they don't have the right braking system, um, that their axles don't comply to Australian standards. They go and try and get them registered. They can't get them registered because they're out of balance. There's a whole raft of problems, okay? Um, over and above that, over and above the lights that I already talked about, tires that don't comply. Um, there's a whole massive, massive, massive. So um, uh, uh, price and value are two different things. So uh, are we the cheapest food trailers on the market? No, uh, do we pride ourselves in having uh, high quality and making sure you're delivered a good product. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, now, back to this. Now, slight modifications with the equipment can be done. It all works about very, very similar price. All right, now, um, people come from all over, from interstate, jump on a plane if you're not in the uh, area, or if you're happy, like I basically showed as much as I can, you can see the quality um, of the uh, maxi trailer and of all our trailers. Um, we can organize delivery processes, um, even though it says on the website, a $500 refundable deposit. Generally these days, I just work on $100 refundable deposit. We raise the invoice, spec it all out, make sure you're very clear, make sure you're happy with everything. If you need finance, we put you in, to in touch with someone that can sort you out with finance. Alternatively, um, if uh, you've got the funds up front, uh, you just go ahead and um, pay for the trailer. We get it all prepared for you, get it all ready. If you come and pick it up, we'll hand it over to you, go through in full detail. Um, and uh, if, if you are getting delivered, 
Uh, if you've got questions after the, after the fact, we're, we're, we're here to help you. Um, we had one lady way out away in Burke and she had a little problem with a, with a pump, which is the first time we've ever seen that had a problem with the hose. We've gone through, learnt from that experience, replaced all the, all the hoses in the entire system on all our trailers to a much higher quality one because we didn't want to happen, happen again. We sorted the problem out for her within uh, 24, 24 hours, so she was super happy and she's way out way at Burke. We posted all the parts out of a really good thing. So does everything run perfect? Not perfectly every single time, but darn close to it, okay? So what do you do next? Go ahead and um, make contact. Happy to go through any questions. You do the deposit, put it in the system. Once you're happy with everything, you pay the uh, next amount, um, which we'll talk about on the phone put it in production, and depending on what you want for the standard model, you might be lucky. Sometimes we have them in stock. Uh, alternatively, you might have to wait a few weeks or something custom, you might have to wait a little bit longer. Look forward to um, talking to you and uh, helping you on your uh, food trailer uh, journey. And one last thing before I go, this type, of, this type of setup literally is a cash machine, okay? Um, you can make $1,000, $1,500 a day profit. There's plenty of room for people um, to work in here. Um, it's just a matter of you actually doing something, taking action and um, moving forward. We do find a few people, they get one food trailer off us and then they go forward and buy another one and another one and get people working for them. They get really, really busy. But you always got to start with one and start somewhere. So I look forward to talking to you. Um, uh, you know how to contact us, call us on the phone or um, um, email us or fill in the form. Talk to you soon.